Man, I really enjoyed making that Friday Night Funkin' video. I wonder how good it did on you. Holy crap! Hey guys, gals, lemons, demons, whatever you guys prefer. We're back and doing something different this time. So, after seeing how well my first video did on Friday Night Funkin', I can't believe I got that many views, thank you so much. I'm back with another, you know, Friday Night Funkin' video. But it's gonna be a little bit different this time compared to my other rankings. You see, in my last Friday Night Funkin' video, I meant when I mentioned the mods, I said the whole community of creativity. There's like tons, and I mean tons of mods, where people make songs and characters that at this point I'd say I can't into the base game's lore at this point because of like, look at how good they are. And today I am fulfilling that promise, but in a different way. There are tons, and I mean TONS of amazing mods in this community with 200,000 units already with a million more well on the way that have really good songs and that like there are way too many for me to do in a single video and like rank them all and the fact that there's so many coming out each day that the that I'm recording this video and one came out today already like that's how many can come out each day and yeah it would be very hard to rank all of them from worst to best so, I mean, I know I'll be a hypocrite because in my Undertale songs ranked, I did a hundred, uh, like, two songs, but, like, th this would be, like, more than, like, 200 songs I have to rank if I was doing every single one, so sorry. And again, it's gonna be the outdated the moment it releases, but hey, I might as well enjoy myself. So instead, I'm gonna do a top 15 of sorts to make up for it. Alright, uh, and, you know, a few honorable mentions to, you know, really shout out the community. Again, this community, even though there are some mess ups, <clears throat> I feel it is pretty good so far. At least in my eyes, what I've seen is pretty is going pretty good so far. Hopefully, it doesn't become another, um, you know, what the Undertale community did during its um, during its entire run. Because you know, as much as I love that game, there there was a bunch of bad stuff that happened there. But from what I can tell, nothing too bad has happened. So I'm still holding hope. Anyway, you know, I'm done ramb rambling, sorry. Um, so, before I do my rankings, I'm gonna go over a few ground rules that are similar to the first video, but there's a catch at the end of the rule, so don't skip this part so you understand. Rule number one, no instrumental songs. It's similar to what I said in my first um, FNF video. I feel the instrumentals would be in the same spot as the regular versions, and I really don't feel like making this video twice as long just to mention the instrumental um, songs like as their own ranking, so yeah. Rule 2, no remixes. Again, like I said, they are pretty similar, and if I was counting remixes, it would be the same songs for my first FNF ranked video. And I want to add more variety in this list. So sorry to fans of B-Side, Neo, and other remix mods, but again, they are very similar to each other. Like, they're good songs, don't get me wrong, but it would just be boring for me to count them all. Rule 3. Every song here is good. I like every song here, even if they don't, aren't ranked as high. Just because they aren't at number 1 doesn't mean I don't enjoy them. But there are some songs that are better than others, but again, just saying don't get mad because I still enjoy the songs, I still in enjoy listening to them even though they're not number one. Rule 4, no reskin mods, it's just a reskin, it's nothing really special about it. I mean, it may look cool, but like, it's like just a reskin, it's nothing special. Rule 5, only one song from each mod. So this was a rule that I came up with to make each to like make this video stand out and also you know give each mod a chance to shine since I'm only doing 15 and a few honorable mentions like I said. I choose this ranking, you know, I choose uh, what is the best song from that mod and yeah I just go with it from there. So like if you see a mod on there, if you see a song from a mod and you don't see the mod ever again then that's my favorite from that mod, okay? And also, again, it gives people, it gives much a chance to shine, and it also doesn't make it so I, it ranked like three songs from the same mod um, three times on there. But yeah, anyway. Uh, now that we got the rules out the way, I hope you listen, because I don't want a million comments talking about how I didn't mention a song from the same mod I talked about. Why am I so mad all of a sudden? And just like that Brandy guy I apparently dissed in my last video, this video will be all that the minute it comes out. So you know what? Here's a little time thing saying when I record this video. 
So, you know, you guys know. Because unlike people like Retrospector, I don't make a video like remixing a mod right after the mod releases. God dang, those look quick. Also, is this... Uh, also, I don't know if this is bad, but I kind of want to make an FNF mod too, but I, I don't have anyone to help me. Please, for the love of God, someone hop into my DMs and help me. I have no friends. Ah. Anyway, let's get right in, down to this countdown. And we're starting off strong with... So now we start off with one half of the most recognized um, FNF mod ship in basically history. A bomb and a woman. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. This mod, I feel, is the most wholesome sounding song. It just is really nice to listen to. Kill's voices are so good, and even Boyfriend's voice is really good too. The chanting in the background just makes this song also a lot better to listen to, and I just love it so much. It's one of those wholesome songs that you really can enjoy listening to. It's honestly a great song, and even though it doesn't fit my genre of music, um, I mean, I still think it's a great song, and it at least deserves number 15. Anyway, again, nice song, and, you know, maybe we'll see the second half of this ship later on, I'm not sure. I mean, it is pretty weird, but I'm not gonna deny it. Now, before we get to this one, when talking about the hardest mod songs, I hear some people say Woody, maybe Matt from Wii Sports, maybe even Tricky, but honestly, I'd say this man is still pretty hard. I'm not sure if it's just me. But, God is this song brutal, I mean, I couldn't even do it, this is, I literally had to get somebody else's footage, by the way, link in the description, in just, case I, in just case you guys, you know, get mad about that. But, yeah, I, it's just so brutal, I couldn't do it in time for this video. But, the song still sounds nice, that, anyway. It's a really good song, honestly, and I just love how Z Zoddy sounds, you know, just as you think a skeleton sounds. Um, did I say skeleton? Sorry. Scarecrow, god dang. Uh, you know, I'm keeping that mess up in. You might, I might as well show people that I mess up sometimes in these videos. It's, you know, like a lot of people say, th this song isn't really spam. It's just a battle of endurance, and I love it so much. The fact that the health bar doesn't even go up uh, like that much, I mean, I hate it, but like, you know, it makes for a challenge nonetheless. It's just a battle of endurance, and I just love that. The song itself sounds good. If I had to nitpick anything though, it does, um, Boyfriend sounds weird sometimes, but I mean, that's not gonna stop it from sounding good, in my opinion. Anyway, with this in mind, it's a good song, it's a hard song, but it's still a good song, and all respect for to, you know, Swanky Box for making one of the hardest FNF songs, mods, whatever, yet, in my opinion. And, you know, if you want to um, see how they did it, then a link will be in, in before the channel in the description. And so you can see how they did it. And I feel like it's a nice video to watch. So yeah, go press the channel thing. It'll be right underneath the corresponding list number. You know, because I don't want to spoil it if you ask them to go to the description. Anyway, nice song, hard song. And again, all respects to him. And yeah, I, I feel like it deserves this ranking. Now, one mod that really stands out above every other mod in my opinion is the CG5 mod. You have, the, you know, the YouTuber CG5 who instead of doing another Dream or a Mongo song, by the way I'm not complaining those songs are really good, he instead gives out his vocals and actually sings, you know, in this mod. You know, lyrics. And it's something that not many mods can boast about. I mean, sure, they can have screaming and maybe some lyrics, but like, this thing is a full-blown song right here. This mod is very well made, and all the songs I enjoy. But if I had to pick one song... Give me a break. 
Oh god, voice crack. Give me a break is honestly an amazing sounding song. CG5 really put some god tier effort into this one. It sounds amazing. The vocals that he and BF do are like so like beautiful together. Like when they sing together, it's so nice. And the beat of it itself is so good. Like the instrumental parts, God, it's so good. I mean, just like listen to it for a second and just tell me how beautiful it is. I really like the fact that we're in, in the studio recording all of this. It really seals the deal in for me about this mod. This is a perfect balance and it is honestly so beautiful to listen to and nice to listen to. Nice song, it's really good, perfectly balanced, and congrats to him for making a very good song. Honestly, this is the saddest mod out there. This mod is incredibly heartbreaking, like, god dang it, Garcello, you're my man, why? With sadness aside, though, the songs are really good, even if most of them involve Garcello, you know, dying and coughing from all the smoke in his body. I mean, you know, he has some sick bars, though, I will say. But, if I really had to choose one song, I'll choose the one where he isn't suffering from, you know, much because he's dead. Release is a fun song, even if, you know, th this man is already dead, like, God, there's no saving him. The beat of this is, like, so good, it slaps so hard, and, like, again, it's just a fun song to do. It's actually one of the only, like, mod songs to ever, like, I could, like, just hum to, like, I can instantly hum to without, like, missing a beat on it. It's just very catching to listen to. I love that in the middle of the song he also compliments you, like, you know. It just makes this, the, the song so much nicer. And another thing about it that, you know, I may not know, it may not actually be an intention, but I uh, come to realize that the other two songs kind of felt like they were building up to this one, and this one was the fullness of the two, and I just love that so much. Again, it's a it's an amazing song, and like I just love it so much, and like the beat of it is so good. I like how the smoke, you know, changes color with his body, and also if you look on the ground, the cigarette also changes, um, you know, its butt too. It changes color for it. It's just a really nice song, amazing song. It's very sad though, you know, because Garcello is dead. I mean, maybe we may never see the slide again, and that may be sad, but. It's a fun song, nice song, and I, I mean, I just wish God so came back, but we'll never see him again, probably. Tight bars, though, man. Or will we? So, first this clip may seem like a typical, um, you know, funkin' mod, but dang, these songs slap hard. Like, it was so hard to figure out which one to put on here, you know, to put higher than the other ones, but, you know, I had to make a tough decision. So, I picked... Okay, so good lord, this song is like, so good. Clip and like, BS vocals, again, like, I'm talking about vocals, oh dear are like so good, the ambience in the fire, just like Clip said, makes like for a great final song, and like I love it so much because of that. It was, it's just like so much fun, I love it so much, and it was really hard to put here since Ray was basically perfect in any way for this mod, but like this got literally a 1% boost for me. It like, because Ray was very close, Bonk was like eh, but Ray was very close, but then I just like, played this one again and honestly it just blew my mind and I just like you know just put it right there um so limbs is very good maybe Ray would be a close second but limbs is a terrific song 
And get, and also, uh, speaking of this mod, I really like the whole, you know, you have to press space even though it doesn't say you have to press it three times. But I mean, like, and I, I guess I can work with that. It's such a fun song to play, and it's very entertaining. And this mod is honestly very entertaining. I feel like it's a little bit underrated because some people view it as just a regular, you know, um, regular mod. But I feel like people should more so play it because it has some really good songs like Limbs and Ray. And Bonk is also good too. But yeah, I just love it so much. <laughs> Honestly, this song is the only reason that this mod is even on this list. While the other songs are okay, I guess, I mean, this song's back must be hurting from carrying this entire mod, like, holy crap. Anyway, down to the song, Mr. Game & Watch is a god at vocals, holy crap. This is, like, so beautiful to listen to, I love how BF even sounds in this too, it's just the overall beat of the song is so good. I love it so much, and like, you know, I get that it's a sort of remix of Mr. Game & Watch's theme, but like, it's at least different enough for me, to, and it's such a good bop that I want to put on this list so badly, and I feel like it's perfect at the spot it's at. It is so nice to listen to, and again, it carried this entire mod, honestly, and like, those solos that they both do are terrific. And again, they are so good. The song is just a bop to listen to. It is so much fun to play, like to listen to. And like, I just love it so much. And again, it definitely carried this mod um, to actually be as popular as it is. Because if this wasn't in it, it would just this this would just be a regular mod that I may put honorable mentions. But like, this thing just like went all out. And I just love Mr. Game & Watch's uh, Flat Zone, you know, remix. Just a really nice song, and honestly, it carried this mod. I feel like it deserves a spot. Imagine making a mod to promote your game, and then make bangers of songs like these, holy crap. This, my god, this, the amount of flexing that this man did is nuts. Now, I know you guys may say this is unfair because you know, some of his songs are inside, you know, his actual game. But I mean, I say that's fair enough because he still made the songs. Now again, you may say, oh, this is unfair. This is actually just a boss theme from his, you know, his game. But I mean, like, that makes this song ten times better. Like, what do you mean? Like, this song slaps incredibly hard. And, like, the pixels also look really good, too. And I enjoy that, you know, Boyfriend is also tapping his foot along with it. It actually makes it really like you to look at but like I everything's so good with this song and holy crap those are so good good gu the guitar parts like holy crap it sounds like some metal music I listen to in my spare time and I love it so much for that god dang these guitar parts hit so heavily and I just love it so much even if it is a spam song because I mean look at me look at me play the game I have to spam like it's really fun to play most of the time, but still, God, everything hits so differently in this song. And it honestly makes me forget that be like boyfriend's voice just sounds like a razor being played on electric guitar in the bathtub. Like God, his, how does he sound like that? I'm so lost. The song is so good, and I hope the best with this guy's game, because you know, for this mod being you know just a promo for his game, he went like he, she, whatever. They went all out for this. Like, they went all out for this, and I wish them the best of luck. Hey. 
All right, and now we have another wholesome mod versus Hex. Hex is, you know, just an overall nice, great robot guy. I mean, look at him. He just wants to sing with you and have fun. And, you know, I know he sounds nice and like, oh my God, he's actually such a nice character. I mean, you know, it, it's very strange. Why am I playing this mod on here? I mean, his songs are very wholesome, but like, why would they be on here in the first place? He's such a nice character, but you know, I'm not sure about his songs. I mean, he, you know, hopefully he's not gonna... Oh yeah, that virus thing. This song is a really good song. A like Hex and Boyfriend trying to get the virus out by singing. I mean, that just sounds like terrific as a, as a, you know, concert. But like, this song just seals the deal for me. The other songs are just wholesome and were good too. But this one takes the cake. All of Hex's movements are so good and nice. And again, it's like, it's like so good to look at and just so good to listen to and like the part of the song where it just basically changes the entire style and landscape i love it so much i and i just love it in the normal style the blue screen of death in the background it gives you you know that sense that you're trying to stop this virus by actually going inside hex himself the song itself again is a banger and with all the stuff i love about this song it makes it 10 times better and again, Glitcher is overall a really good song. And um, just a spoiler for my, you know, well, actually not a spoiler, but just an inside behind the scenes. This was originally number three a long time ago in my um, top 10 mod songs ranked. But, you know, a lot of so mods came out and I had to change it to top 15. And this one kind of got dwindled down a little bit as I re listened to some songs and some new mods came out. But, like, this song will always be a very good song for me and it was technically the first song i listened up to you know for mods of a remix to i just love it so much for that again nice song hex is a wholesome guy and i'm and i hope to see him again in the future because god hex is so cool so Starlight Mayhem. This was a uh, surprising mod recently. Now I know, I don't know much about these concert boys or why they're here, but it's a concert which means we're gonna get some very good songs. This list honestly came down to two songs, so let me get the one out of the way that I didn't care about first. Echoes was a great song, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't do it for me, it just did not break anything for me, sorry. So that leaves two songs, and you know which one I picked? God, this song is just a banger. Although, you know, Invert Ascension was a terrific song, by the way, what the heck is that name? But I mean, like, you know, the, the, like, the intense hype that is in this song makes it so much better than Inverted Ascension. The song has everyone in it, CJ, Ruby, Boyfriend, Girlfriend, all singing, and because it's a concert, you have all, the rest of the band also playing as well. 
all the vocals are perfect and I love the aesthetic so much. The stage like changing color as the song goes on, it like really makes it seem like it's the final song of a concert. It just makes it so nice to listen to, I just love it. Another thing, you know, that I love about this mod, this song in particular, is that it's one of the songs where Girlfriend's actually singing in it, and you can actually hear Girlfriend's in some parts, granted it's like overshadowed by Boyfriend just screaming, but like, you can still hear like, you know, those beep boops that she makes in there, and it's really nice to listen to. And everything in the song is just so good. From, you know, the feeling of being at a concert, those excellent drum and guitar parts, and even the vocals for all of the characters, it makes the song so good. And honestly, with all that praise I'm giving this song, it's it just makes it so that you guys are even more hyped for the next ones. I'm just gonna give you that one. But again, amazing song. I like how everything just fits so nicely in here. And yeah, I like I looked at the channel and man, I just I, they did fine work with this mod. Honestly, they did really good. And I, if they ever decide doing another one, I hope it's it's just 10 times better than this one. Because holy crap, it is so good. And yeah, anyway. Good, uh, it's good. So, question. Why does this man look like Venom's like rap cousin that he forgot about or something? Or as quite, ahem, <clears throat> sorry, quote put. Looks like he's straight out of Has Been Hotel. That's the thing that comes to mind, alright? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, okay, all jokes aside, this mod is really good. It's so good. I just love the changes to the game it made, and like, it's overall terrific. And the songs reflect that so much. Now again, this one came very close in the ranking, so let's start off with the one that wasn't as close. A Agody, Agody, however you say his name, was a fun song to do, but it could not compete with the B of the other ones. It's a really good song, but like, it could not compete with the, it again. So, you know, it's just like the last one, it leaves us with two options, and you know which one I picked? <laughs> yep, Parasite. This song is so good. It's such a bop. While screenplay, I will always appreciate for the, you know, song that plays when you fight Sans part in it. Parasite overall is a banger, and I will admit it was very close on this one for me. I mean, how this Venom wannabe sounds is just so amazing, and I love the rhythm of the song so much. And especially the parts where they start singing each other's lines is so good. Plus, a Gotti, a Godi's, however you say his name, I, I don't know. Venom wannabe's movements are. It's like they feel like they, there's some weight to them, and I just love it for that. I mean, like, look at it for a little bit. It feels like there's so much weight to his movements, each one, like, actually being really good. And I just love the mod for it. It's a really good song, and this incredible incredibly well crafted mod and I hope we see more mods like this in the future well I mean I guess apart from the last song I make but uh, again I really hope that he, um, this guy comes back and makes a sequel since he kind of alludes to that in his mod but again amazing song I love it so much and hope we see more like this in the future Now then, Mid Fight Masses is a weird mod. It has these 
country people. I know they aren't country people. This is just a freaking joke. I swear by chance that the people who created this mod sees this. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm happy you're here, but still, um, please don't be offended. And they, you know, they, they want you to join a church because, you know, you just had to use the bathroom, I guess. I'm not sure why this demon and criminal are doing this. But right now, I'm not going to read into the lore. I mean, I know about the lore, but I'm not going to tell you about it. So you, you know, screw off, you two. I just want to pee, you know? But hey, we have some some really good songs. And this one came down really hard to decide since there's like five, six different songs. Five, five songs, technically. But, you know, there's so many songs that these people made. Like, gee, holy crap, look at his channel. And I, but, I, you know, I put the ones in the actual mod. Again, there was five of them, so it was pretty hard to rank, so let's get to the ones that weren't hard for me to decide. While I like Parish, as it has some nice vocals, it's way too weird for me, you know, to play. Worship is a fun and really nice song, but again, the weird parts in it, it's just worse than it for me, and I couldn't just, you know, put it on there. And, but I will admit that that I, I'm not sure if the creator is gonna be listening to this part. But like, did this sound? This did, did this part you get from like Papyrus and his like Bone tru uh, Trussle sound? Um, uh, you know his Bone Trussle um song because it sounds very similar to the beginning part at least. And even though Casanova sounds really good, in my opinion, it's more of a troll song. And even though again it's really good, I don't really care for it. And that charting, holy cow! This leaves me with two other options. And again, you know which one I picked? So then, let me explain. While Gospel is like amazingly good and is honestly a beautiful song, Zavaldia. Zavaldi, however you say that name, it just slaps so hard compared to it. I mean, it literally causes earthquakes. Like, good lord, how loud is he screaming since, you know, his mic isn't plugged in apparently? The song itself is spectacular, and I finally see what Sans meant by using your strongest attack first, because good lord is this attack hard, but like, you know, once you get down, the rest of it is not a challenge, mostly. This song is very good. I just love how rough sounds as it makes the song so much better and Boyfriend is trying to but I mean that's not gonna matter when your opponent causes earthquakes by just his voice. And you know it's just it's just fun dancing to this too because you know, I just laugh at all the Russian memes and I honestly start dancing to it like them. It's just a really good song in my opinion. and. I'm sorry to the fans of, you know, the hot nun, nun demon in gospel, but like, I mean, this song slaps so hard and I think it deserves a spot on, on the list. And seeing some people, like, have this as a fan favorite, you know, I I'd say it's very fitting to put it here better than gospel. Now as long as the people can learn to chart, oh my god, please. Also, what the heck are these ships? I mean, I'm not complaining because, you know, they have a fandom and it's pretty wholesome as of right now, but like, what the heck is this? So, why do Russians hate Boyfriend so much? I mean, god dang, there's like three of them that hate him, Jesus Christ. All jokes aside, it, this is a really good mod. All of the songs are, are like amazing and I just love that this voice acting. You know, it makes a, it's a nice change from other mods, you know, and it's just really nice to have some unique qualities to this one. And, I mean, I'll, if, if turning into a flame flowing skull head means that I can spit bars this fire, then like, I take that chance anyway. Alright, jokes aside again, these songs are really good, but only one could take these spots, so let's get them out of the way. My Battle is a really catchy song, and is really good. And Genocide is such a unique song with the health bar moving during the song and the screen getting darker as you're about to die. But for me, both these songs couldn't break me. I mean my song meter, that is. My fingers are fine. And there was one song that did break this meter though. And again, if you know this mod, you can guess which one I'm about to say.
Last Chance is such a catchy bop. It slapped so hard when I first heard it. The beat is like perfect in this song. I love all of Tabby's uh, ex, Tabby, whatever his name is, vocals so much. In my opinion, they are perfect for this song. The harmonic parts are really good too. I just love how it leads up to these parts. Like, look at, like, listen to it closely. It just, look, it just sounds so neatly and so nice. And, like, I also like how Boyfriend and Girlfriend are sweaty a little bit. You know, which, which is weird because they've seen a lot worse than a weird skeleton X, but, like, eh, I guess that makes, I guess it makes sense to sort X. And the long notes are like perfect sounding. It honestly sounds like something I play on a piano, you know, if I ever do it, you know, play on the piano. And it's just like the perfect harmony of the two. Even though he's trying to kill a boyfriend, he still wants to harmonize with him, I guess. I'm not sure, it doesn't make sense. But I mean, hey, we have some really good, we have some really good singing in it. And in this song, we actually, we actually have some purpose to double notes because they actually sound different instead of just being a regular note. But, you know, you just made them double notes. I'm looking at you, Mint Fight Masses. Again, amazing song and honestly sounds so good. Boy, it couldn't have cracked the top three, I'm sorry. Because the next songs, again, are solely my opi opinion, so don't get mad. But these next songs just are perfect in every single way. Now, when discussing hardest, like, you know, F and F mod songs, there's always one that is brought up. Versus Matt. Versus Matt is one of the hardest FNF mods. Like, not the hardest, but certainly a challenge. It will break your fingers if you're not prepared. You have to train with Matt, and I don't know why, because you fought like little demons, but I mean, eh, I guess he's also a demon in and of himself. And honestly, I just like how everyone has a me look, it, it makes everything really cool. Anyway, the songs themselves are very fast, it's going one, but you know, it, it's really nice, they're like so good. Light It Up is a nice song, but it pretty much is a remix of Fresh, so you know. It, it couldn't break it. And the other songs like are like the Faz, like Target Practice and Sporting and Boxing Match are good too, but they are way fa too fast for me to enjoy. Uh, I, I did a pun there. So, again, you guys can probably guess what I picked. <laughs> this song is so perfect in every single way. It's like just the right amount of speed that makes the song like way more enjoyable than the others. I just love Matt and like how Matt sounds in this and it sounds so perfect. I love how he turns into different you know sports at every single like move he makes. Like God I just love that so much. The song itself is really good. And I even have you know, this song, as one of the three songs, you'll see the other two, but like, as one of the three songs I listen to all the time on my playlist, and heck, I even run to sometimes. It's really nice. And might I just say, I just noticed this, like, I'm not sure if any other people have noticed this, but I just noticed this. If you listen carefully, you can hear Matt saying the name of the song. Like, God, I feel like that's so, that's so nice. I love this song so much, and I don't care if my dad says this will break my fingers one day. I mean, it's just way too good of a song, and uh, you know, I feel like that's a worthy sacrifice. And you know what? I may be done talking about this song, but just because this is the top three, and I might as well let you guys enjoy some of the songs, I'm gonna play the rest of the song. I probably did it for other ones too, but like, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of the song with me.
Okay, now then, let's get down to business. UV, if you've seen this, screw you for saying this song is garbage. Okay, all jokes aside, this song is brutal like Zordi, but you know, unlike that, it is near perfect in every single way. This song is so good, and even though Tricky is screaming the entire time, he still sounds so like good, and like I honestly love that. Boyfriend sounds awesome as well, and the vocals are really nice too, and the instruments in the background are top notch. They are like terrifically good. So you may be asking yourself, like you know, these are just stuff you said about the other mods. So what elevates it higher? Like, you know, what beats it? What makes it different from mods like Ruckus? What makes it different from um, Last Chance? What makes it different from Zardy even? Well, it's because of this middle part right here. Okay, I don't know what went on in this guy's mind, but holy crap, that was the most beautiful thing I ever heard. This is like, this is the most beautiful thing, and this is the reason why this song is so high. Heck, it's my mom's favorite song that I showed her out of this entire ranking because of this part alone. I feel a lot of people agree with me on this because it almost has more views than most of the normal songs in the base game, you know, besides the one I got first on my other ranking, surprisingly. The song is near perfect, nearly perfect. There is one song that will still beat it, like, it, that will still beat everything on this list. But first, we have to go through... Number 1, Sky vs Sky mod. This mod would have been on the list, honestly, it would have taken like number 14, 15th place, but with all the controversy that happened over it, I decided to put it in, in the honorable mention so I didn't, you know, put any more fuel to an already burning fire. Meglo Strike Back vs Kara mod. Yeah, you, you guys knew I couldn't leave Undertale out, right? Uh, honestly, the most unique Undertale mod I've seen, and though it's just a charting of a song, I feel like, like you know, just the looks alone and how unique it is, it's enough to count it as honorable mention. Beyond the Stars, Night of the Funky Bot mod. This reminds me so much of Chill and I just love it. It's really nice to listen to and I just love the background change. Sweet Waves, Deep Sea Date. This fish go person sounds really nice, and I overall like the feel of the song. Hocus Pocus vs. Mirror mod. I told you he'd be back! Woo! Gosh, oh yeah! Woo! Pom Pom Rainian. Yeah, there we go. Pom Pom Rainian vs. Pom Pom and, and plus Mackie mod. I really like that the dog candy thingy is singing with us, and just the abundance of references in this mod and this song is really good. Feel the Hopes and Dreams vs. Chris. Alright, if if I had Undertale on here, you knew I couldn't leave Deltrune out either. And it, again, it's just another one where they put, you know, a, another song into FNF and chart it, but I mean, this one feels unique too, and honestly, I just love playing it, so, um, so, you know, I, I feel like it deserves an honorable mention. Tides, Beach Butter Mod. Honestly, this sounds like a song I hear in one of those old surf movies. And I'm not complaining because it really sounds nice. Bad Piggies vs. Pig Mod. My Childhood. This song will always be a banger no matter what form it's in. And again, it's my childhood, so I'm putting it on this list, okay? And finally, Sus Sus Moogoose vs. Imposter Mod. Sus 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 sussy 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 among us among us among us among us among us among us um, you are a sus meme. Anyway, nice song. Though that guy is pretty sussy.
Now, we've come to the end of the list, and you guys are probably wondering, what the heck could top all of the songs we just went to, Foo? Well, you know, if you watch my Twitch, you'd know, but let me just uh, paint a picture. And all of these songs are so incredible any, in any way, but all of them missed one aspect. It just missed that aspect that this song broke me at. It's just, it's like, relaxation. This song was spectacular in every single way. It was the perfect song. And, but, you know, first, we have to talk about... Versus Witty. One of the first FNF... Uh, FNF mods that actually gained popularity instantly and people, you know, started to gain a spark in the modding community. It's one of the first that really did that, in my opinion. And it's so good that even people thought that Witty was actually in the base game. I mean, if you're that good, then you know you're doing something well. But let's get to the songs, you know, that I don't like out of the way, so you guys can you know, slowly start to realize what song I was talking about. The song that everybody apparently likes is Ballistic, for, for me, it's the worst one. Because unlike Tricky in the last song, the screaming doesn't sound nice to me. It just, you know, doesn't it sound like as nice as Tricky's did. And I know, I know there's a new version of it, but like, it's a remix, so, you know, I'm still gonna paint it as, you know, the original one I'm putting on the list. So you might think my favorite is Overhead, and while that song is very good, like those guitar parts are outstanding, and even like the bits like of him just getting angry are outstanding, it wasn't my favorite. Which means, you can guess what song I'm about to say. Low Fight? is the best modded song ever in my opinion. It is so perfect. It's a relaxing song, which is weird to say when you're fighting a literal bomb. It's really, it's like also like one of the first songs and maybe the only ones right now that Boyfriend starts first, which is honestly cool in my opinion. The incredible harmony between Witty and Boyfriend is so good. The riffs that Witty does are perfect. They make the song even more relaxing than it should be, which makes it a hundred times better. The song is perfect in every way, and I find it sort of fitting to put, you know, the other half of the most recognized FNF modded ship at number one, seeing as the uh, you know other ha first half was last. This song is so good, yet for some reason people when I ask, like, say other songs are better, I mean look, I respect their opinion, but like, they really don't get it, rather well, than my one friend of course. Again, this song is perfect in my opinion, like, and no matter what song comes out, Tricky's new um, version, this new character in Witty's newest update, no, this will forever be my favorite FNF mod song of all time. It's so good, it's perfect in every way, and this right here is, in my opinion, the number one FNF modded song. Well, thank you guys so much for enjoying the video, and you know, I know it was sort of anticlimactic with the song at the end, seeing how much hype the other songs gave, but I mean, like, it's my opinion, remember that, and I just really like that song, so you know, I feel like it deserved that spot, it's always been my favorite. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching the video, make sure you like, subscribe, um, join the, the, you know, my Discord in the link, follow my Twitch, you know, all that fun stuff. And make sure to share in the comments, you know, what your favorite modded songs are, because I saw a lot of opinions when I asked my, you know, some people around. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Wait, hang on, please DM me. I need, I need more mods, people. Ah.